Hello everybody, Jade So One Five Nine Zero here, and this is videos for my first video um about the vending machine. It this is my pretty much backup video to show you guys how it is made. All right, let me get all the necessary materials. I think I may be good. All right, so first you gotta create like a little machine that. Pretty much, you throw your materials in to make the machine start working. Alright, this is what you have to do. You just gotta make it so, um, it's not connected to any sides except maybe that one. Because it won't be in that one. Alright, and then you got to connect your redstone. And you can, like, hide this however, however you want. Like do something like this so they can't really see it. I don't know, it all depends on what you want to do with this. You could create it any way possible. Something like this would be just fine. Alright, now you got to put, connect it to redstone. So when you throw something on the pressure plate, it will fall down and activate it and turn this off. Alright, now you just gotta, by the way, I'm, I am gonna be facing it this way, so be prepared for that. Alright, stick a st sticky piston right there. And I'll put it one block in between, stick another sticky piston, and same three times in a row. What this does is, it, um, gets rid of the block under it, so, you do this just to, the gold measures, I guess, so they don't really see it as well. But when, if you saw my previous video, when you press the button, they fall down, the, bl the blocks, they fall down. So, yeah, this, so when you do this, they, um, when you throw something in, it automatically resets the, the things, uh, whatever they're called, slime balls, so you don't have to mess around with them, and I did forget glass, I know. Probably yelling at the screen. Alright, now what you have to do is build two up. Right there, stick a fence. And, and a wooden pressure plate on top of it. This will create it so when um, it falls out of the fence or the slime pole, it will hit onto the pressure plate, and there will be redstone here connecting to some contraption that you'll see later on in this video. Alright, now just pretty much build around it. You, this is probably a, a very important thing. Do not, do not, do not, do not build it like this. This will make it so it doesn't fall through. You gotta, you gotta do that. Like, it's very, very important. Alright? Because without doing that, the machine won't work. Alright, I am almost done here. Just have a... Well, done with this part, for, ex for, for example, I guess. God damn it. Alright, and just to make it look nice, you can do whatever you want to this. And you could have the back part of it connecting. You just can't have the front three parts. Alright, so it should look something like this. Remember, you gotta break that. It should look something like this. And if it is looking like this, then you're on the right track. Now what you have to do is just pretty much keep building up to however big you want this machine to be. And I screwed up there. Oh, that would have been bad. <laughs> Alright, now just keep building up. Until you're ready to, to place your um, dispensers. Alright, I think about this height is a good enough height to do it. It's just my opinion, though. Alright. 
Now what you gotta do is stick the dispenser facing this way. Let me just get my dispenser. Alright, stick one on each uh, side of the back. Alright, and just keep and do this for all three. This will make it so the block that shoots out of the dispenser will not shoot out. It will make more sense when you actually build it. Alright, now, now bring this, um, bring all the redstone that's connected to these three, um, pressure plates down to the ground. And just connect a redstone wire to them until you're, they're all right there. Alright, now go one out, do not connect them. And put a, a wall of any block on on the at the edge of the redstone. And then stick a redstone torch on each part of the redstone. This makes more sense if you're actually doing it. And it should turn those off. Now pretty much do the same thing with the with those two. And do it like that. And you gotta stick a redstone in the middle. This will connect to the dispenser leading to the prize counter, I guess I should call it. I'll just make a little dispenser and a little rut, I guess. And put and just put water there. Alright. Now you gotta con connect these um three uh dispensers to the that down there. Just build down. Alright. I'm actually... We're actually almost done if you're actually following along. We're... We're right about there. We just have a little bit more to go. Alright. Now just connect these three to the... Three dispensers. Film... What I like to do is, I like to fill it with six things of whatever you're going to use to fall down, and you could use arrows, snowballs, or eggs, but I suggest snowballs or arrows, because eggs have a chance of spawning chickens. So use three. This will give about one in every ten chance of getting all three. Let me just fill them up. One more. You could use anything you want for these. You could use like, like freaking diamond shovels. I don't care, but just use anything that doesn't shoot out of the dispenser, and it should work. All right. So now you got everything set up, and all you need to do is connect, connect some water with this and let's measure out eight blocks just to be safe two three four five six seven eight all right this is actually perfect so now um you just go like this and this is like the prize th thing now let me test this to see if it works all right yeah it actually works As you can see, I just won right there, and I should get my diamond. Just wait a sec, wait a sec. And, did I forget to fill this up with diamonds? I think I did. Whoops. <laughs> Let's try that again. Alright, time to test out it again. I got two there. Didn't get any there though. Wow, that's never seen that. It's very rare actually. I got two. 
And let's just do it a couple more times. I should, um, get a prize if not. Oh, wait, that one didn't go in. And if you want, if you don't want this to happen where it, it gets caught there, you could build it on, like, this side. It, it all depends on which way you're building it and which way you're building this, but it shouldn't happen often, too often. If it does happen, you could always use a glass pane to lead it to where you want it to go. And I messed up there, apparently. Hold on. Yeah, that, that's not supposed to be there. Yeah, it goes to the same rules as over there. The first three should... The first three... The front three sides should not be covered. And that's weird. I've never seen that happen. But you can always... Oh yeah, this is... You can't use glass paint. Whoops. But you can just, like, do whatever you just... Do that. It, I, it really doesn't matter. And see how I won there? I should get a diamond. And if you don't want that to happen, you could just do something like this, and it shouldn't happen. Alright, so thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and goodbye.